What a blasters! In our second review of the 2024 season, we set our sights on the renowned Three Valleys Resort in France. A gigantic winter haven. The four days I spent here barely scratched the surface of what this vast resort has to offer. Unlike the resorts in Austria, the French prefer dropping an entire city at the top of the mountain. Our journey to Val Thorens involved a 40 minute uphill drive, a tiring experience because of thick fog and fresh snow. Thankfully, our designated driver is a legend. Once you enter the mountain towns in the three valleys, you will see that they are not lacking in amenities. There's gyms, swimming pools, squash courts, shopping streets, cinemas, bowling alleys and more, offering all the comforts of your average city. There's even a small airfield right next to the slopes. While the continuous snowfall created challenging weather conditions, obscuring some of the highlights, I'm eager to share my experiences with you all. Let's get right into it. Diving into the heart of the review, let's talk about the slopes. With a staggering 600 km of runs, sprawled across all three of the valleys, it's no exaggeration to claim the title of the world's largest resort. Despite suboptimal conditions due to the heavy snowfall, the slopes showcased above average quality on good days. I was especially impressed by how little the slopes degraded by the afternoon. An army of groomers works tirelessly every evening and night to create these conditions, although the sheer expanse of terrain meant not every slope received daily attention. The resort's official app introduced an innovative twist with its augmented reality challenges, offering a unique way to explore and earn rewards. Link in the description below. Planning my own tour to maximize exploration, I was amazed at the sheer volume of points of interest on the map. Navigating it all in four days, let alone one, is a challenge. Stay tuned until the end of the video where I will share the route I prepared to see as much as possible in a single day. I'd also like to single out the Sim Caron Peak and the Orel site as a lesser known area, but it's truly great. A lot of locals actually refer to it as the Fort Valley. If the post fresh snow preparations had been better, Le Trois Vallées could have easily earned a 9 out of 10 Blasty score for the slopes, but because it wasn't, they'll have to settle for a still commendable 8 Blasties. To get around these expansive valleys, the resort has 158 lifts in operation, but here's where Le Trois Vallées reveals their biggest downside. A significant portion of the lifts leans towards the outdated, charmingly antique in some cases, but just plain old in others. Chair lifts without weather covers are commonplace and the majority of the lifts I encountered were older than their counterparts in Austrian resorts. The comfort of having everything atop the mountain does mitigate this inconvenience, but improvement in this area is crucial. I can only score the lifts a modest 6 out of 10 blasts. Drawing a comparison with the cozy ambiance of Austria, France's après scene feels more serious and lacks the Gemütlichkeit charm. I miss my schnapps. Valtorance is the birthplace of La Folie Douce, which offers a club-like atmosphere and has since become a franchise. A true staple of any French resort. But it's very different from the traditional Austrian sing-alongs that I'm used to. Atmosphere preferences aside, the first leg of the French après ends much earlier than Austria which is perfect for boring people like myself. If you do have the energy left to party though, it all kicks off again after dinner time. On the culinary front, Le Travalet offers French staples like raclette and many culinary delights. The most unique one I saw being a lobster and steak restaurant on the mountain in Val Thorence. The wine flows generously, but my personal preference does lean towards Austrian cuisine. Balancing it all, I award 7 out of 10 Blasties for Apreski food and drinks. With a cumulative score of 7 out of 10 Blasties, Le Travalet is a must visit for avid European skiers. Despite some areas for improvement, the sheer size, diverse terrain and unique experiences make it a destination worth exploring at least once in your skiing life. Share your thoughts on Le Travalet in the comments below and if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me. 
I'll end the video with the route I crafted to conquer as much of the resort as possible in a single day. Feel free to suggest any improvements. Happy skiing, and until next time, keep blasting through the slopes.